Okay, guys, welcome to Adona. Um, the goal of today's session is to open up from top to bottom. And my goal for you guys is for you to finish this session today and to be able to walk away from the screen or go back to the desk or go back to whatever you're doing after this and to feel better, to feel freer in your joints, to feel freer uh, mentally, to feel better to breathe. And just a little bit, generally feeling a little bit happier, a bit more positive, okay? So as we always do, our goal at the start is activate uh, and warm up all of the muscles we want to release. And then we start to mobilize and actively stretch throughout our full range of movement or our fullest range that your body allows you to. So how we're going to do this to start with is coming up onto your feet. We're going to be feet together. And we're going to try your best to just sit down onto your heels. Now, if your quads are tight, if your ankles lack range, then your heels will be elevated. But that's okay. There's nothing wrong with you. It's just if you haven't done this enough. And then to start with, using your hands, you're going to come down, support, and bring the knees to the ground. And then come all the way back up. So I'm going to show you from the side on the angle. So I'm down in that sit position, bringing my knees forward. Good. So you can see I'm stretching through the back of the feet. My toes are stretching. My knees are at their full flexion. And then all I'm going to do is help myself come back so that I'm back in that seated position. And then I'm going to come forward. So use your hands as much as you need to to help you come down and forward. But you'll notice it'll start to stretch out through the quads. You'll feel the knees open up. You'll feel the ankles start to, well, they'll, they'll feel like they're not opening up, they are, okay? And then forward, good, and back. And we're just gonna work through this for a minute. Good, use as much assistance as you can. And as that becomes easier, come forward, and then try and do it with no hand. That's it. Good. That's it, have some fun with it. Go your feet a little wider if you feel off balance. Nice. Good. Keep it going. Another say three, two to three more reps, another 15 seconds. Awesome. A rest. Our next exercise, I call this the skydiver pose. So we're going to be laying flat. If you guys watch my screen to start with, it'll just give you guys some clarity on how to position your body. Your arms are going to shoot out to the side, knees are going to be bent, and then the heels are just upwards. So all I'm doing here is imagine you've just jumped out of a plane and all of a sudden you're like, oh, <laughs> back down. Okay? So we're lifting up. Try and drive up and then back down. So start to run through that. Make sure that the knees are in line with the ankles. So like this. Okay. And then what I want you to practice is see how high you can lift both thighs off the ground. So we're going into what's called hip extension. So it's easier to lift the chest off the ground. I want you to focus on lifting the legs off the ground. And that is the easiest, most effective way to activate our glutes, our butt cheeks in hip extension. So we lift up and down. So I don't care how many repetitions you get out. The goal is quality repetitions. And lift up. Good. And back down. Making sure the feet stay above the knees so we don't activate our hamstrings too much. So feet like that. Not too far, far down because we'll take away a little bit of the glute and put more of the hemis into it. Good. So a rough rep range, we're gonna work for a minute, but a rough rep range is anywhere from 15 to 25 repetitions for you to feel those muscles start to create tension and start to activate and start to warm up. Good. Awesome, this is the opposite of the position you guys have all been in for the first four hours of the day. Okay, so up we get. Nice, breathe with the movement. 10 seconds to go, maybe two more really strong, focused repetitions. And up. Nice, Ezzy, nice, Mego, nice, Aaron. Awesome, Morgs, that's perfect. 
Yeah. I'm always perfect. <laughs> okay. And have a rest back up to our standing. And we're going back into our toe to knee squats. So now that we're a bit warmer, see if you can come right down. Okay. My heels are still L. My heels are touching the ground now. And then shifting forward. And then shifting back. Shifting forward. Three. And then shifting back. Shifting forward. Good. Nice, Aaron. That ground hopefully is not too hard for you. Hey, Dave. I had a, um, a cortisone injection in the, my forefoot last week. So I'm just taking yep. a bit easy on that, just so you know. Yes, use your hands, okay? Use your hands. And yep. Yeah, I, I was going to say that that wooden floor looks tough anyway. So go, go your feet a little wider, Aaron, and that'll yep. take out that loading as well through the forefoot, okay? Okay, cool. Oh. Cool. Awesome, mate. Well done. Great work, guys. Keep it going. 20 more seconds of that movement. Keep it up. And rest, well done. And then we go back into our skydiving position. Good, feet are above the knees. And we're one, boom, and now a little bit, a little bit quicker, working through it, warming those butt cheeks up. Good, focus on lifting the thighs up as high as you can. Remember, the more we can activate these muscles, the more we can warm these muscles up, the better that they'll release for you once we start getting to our stretch component and our trigger release component. So when it starts to burn, when it starts to start to heat up and you want to stop or have a rest, work through it. Good. Awesome. Keep it going. Up and down as high as you can with those thighs. Good. Get those glutes working. Nice, Mego. Awesome, keep it up. I want you to do five more short, sharp pulses at full extension at the hips. Let's go. One, back down. Two, good. Three, four, and five. Well done. Have a breather, grab a drink. I'm gonna run you through the next exercise. We're still working on some activation work here. Now we're gonna hit full body, uh, predominantly the upper body. Um, and, the, and the core, okay, or the trunk or the torso so that we can warm all that up and then it's a good time to release that as well. So this next exercise, we're going to be working for three minutes. Now, what it's going to look like is three components, essentially. We're going to be in a push-up position. Whether that looks like knees for you, that's completely fine. No doubt, you'll probably drop to your knees following the first minute or two anyway. So we push up. Come back up, downward dog, full extension, try to lock the arms out. As you push forward on that down dog, knee, elbow, knee, elbow, push up. I'm gonna run through one more time, down dog, push forward, knee, elbow, knee to elbow. Now, push up, down dog, knee to elbow, knee to elbow. How the, the, the concept and the structure is gonna work, we're gonna work for three minutes, but after each set, so you'll go one push up, one down dog, one knee to elbow. Two push ups, two down dog, two knee to elbow. Three push ups, three down dog, three knee to elbow. Get the gist, you'll work for three minutes. Your goal is to get to at least six. Okay? And Sarah, I see if next week you can have more dogs around you. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> that would just make it a little bit trickier. It's like a zoo. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one, let's go. So push up first. So hips come forward. Drive it right up first. Down dog. Then knee to elbow. Knee to elbow. Then we push up. 
Good. Then we down dog. Rinse it out. Knee to elbow. I'm going to talk you through. That's one. Back down. Now we go two push-ups or wherever you're at with whatever reps you're on to. Okay. Then we go down dog. Good. Push back. Come forward and you'll go into another down dog. Good. That's it. Nice. Awesome. And now two knee to elbows each side. And then we go up by one again. Keep working through it. Take your time, breathe with it. We're working for a time period. I don't mind how many repetitions you guys get in. I just want quality repetitions. Focus, control. Keep it going, guys. Great work. Rinse those shoulders out. Awesome. I want you to do your best to push through that desire to stop. Unless there's a really important reason, I want you to work through it. This tension, this activation is important. You'll find you'll just be freer and looser as you work through it. Keep it going. Nice. Under 60 seconds left of work. But do your best to continue through. Awesome work, guys. Push through for this last 30 seconds as best you can. You got this. Bit of heat. That's what we want. Bit of heat. This will be the hardest thing you do all day. The rest is release and trigger. Good work, Morgs. Solid form. I love it. Thanks, Ada. No worries, buddy. 15 seconds. Really there. Five, four, three, two, one. Coming back onto your knees like Iron City and just bring the hands by the side. Rinse those forearms out, guys. Well done. Hardest set you'll do today. Back in here. You guys are seeing a body talk to you, but not a head. Good. Just coming forward. And then same thing, we're gonna go palms face down, bicep shoots towards, and then we lean back a little bit and get that stretch through the other side of the forearms. Good work. Well, most of you guys will be on keyboards and stuff. Hello, puppy. What's your name? Just cruise it. Yep. Awesome. Give the wrist a roll out. And we're gonna lay down flat. I'm gonna go now that we're nice and warm through the chest and the shoulders, arm out to the side. Try and place the whole shoulder and arm and chest on the ground. Left hand next to the body, rolling over, and lifting that knee up for one, two, good. We're gonna throw it, flow through 10, really feel good repetitions. One more for me. Back me out. And then change sides. So right arm down, left hand out, cross. Work, guys. Make it feel good. As you can see, a lot of the movements we do today are pretty much combating what sitting does to you, what, what sitting and the position of sitting puts you in. You know, that internal rotation or slouch is also a probably more general term for it. The shoulders, I'm trying to break out of that. 
Nice. And then we'll change back to the other side. Slight bend in the arm. If that's too intense for you, then just go the arm a little bit less bent. So instead of the 90 degree angle, you might have a 45 degree angle at the shoulder and then come across. Just a little bit more intense through the pec there. Now, one thing I haven't really talked too much about today, but it's important is your breath. Make sure we breathe with the movement, okay, guys? Good. And once you've done 10, change sides. Awesome. Give yourself a little breather from that one. And I'm going to show you the next exercise, which is now a full body rotation release. So some of you guys might have done this before if you've done one of my classes. Hands are going to shoot directly in line with the shoulders, knees in line with the hips. So I'll show and show you so you can see both areas. So we're like this. Arm shoot out, head down, and then what we want to try and do is trace as wide a circle as we can, and then come across to that side twist, and then all the way back around. So I'm starting like this, and then I'm trying to trace as wide as I can, keeping my arms straight, and coming all the way over to the other side of the body, keeping that arm there, and then we trace all the way back. It's going to feel quite nice, guys. So make sure those knees are in line with your hips, though. So bring your, hip, your knees up a little higher so they're in line with your hips. Nah, no, um, in line, 90 degree. Yes, so I up. Yep, that's it. That's it. Now go. Oh, yeah. Yep, go the other way. Come, come across the top. Good. So we're starting here. And then we draw in straight away, all the way back. But so then we're not coming across the legs like that. We're coming above the body. That's it, that's better. Yep, 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 yep. And then you'll return the same way. So go all the way across. So you're in line with your arm. And then all the way back. Good. Give me a wave if that feels nice. Awesome, keep it going. Virtual wave. Hey. That's a wave for me. I've seen your wave, yeah. Yours was the biggest, clearest. That's it, guys. Remember to breathe with the movement. Now, without changing too much your position, all I want you to do is extend the top leg so it's straight. Now, still in the same position, though. Yes, 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 yes. Exactly, Aaron. Bang on. Yeah, you're not, you're coming, says your, your long leg is over the top and then straighten it out. Yeah. Awesome. And then go again. So you'll feel that it'll be a bit more restrictive. Erin, I want you to come a little bit further around. Keep going with that arm for me. So peel around, peel around, peel around, peel around, peel around, and then hold there for a breath or two. Good. And then slowly come back to the other side. Awesome. Breathe in now, Aaron. Breathe in now. And on the exhale, come around, come around, come around. And then try and relax. Heat's better. Good. Nearly touching the ground now. Go again. Three more in that movement, in that position. And then all we're going to do is change sides. Good work. Keep it going, guys. Make it feel good. Your body will thank you later. And then when you've done that, you literally just change sides. Put it right down. So as you can see, just remember to check in just in case you forget. Knees in line with hips, like that, not straight on. That's my bad explaining it too, by the way. 
knees at 90 degrees to the hips. Good. Hands down. Relax. Relax, relax, and breathe all the way around. All right, guys. So keep it going. Yeah. Love this uh, this uh, Zoom call. There's that many. There's more dogs than humans than me. Yep, there's another one. <laughs> Okay, guys, extend that top leg now. You might have to shuffle back a little bit. There's, yeah, cool. There we go. Make it feel good again. Let's go. Hey, Bobby. There's three more. Right, finish off that last one. Awesome. Good, good, good. Great stuff. Have a drink, guys. Grab yourself your trigger ball or whatever, but take your time. Have a minute or so where we just recoup. Grab a drink. Can do some hips um, activation work now um, and release. Okay, so with our ball today, what we're going to do here is what creates a movement in our hips called internal rotation. So we're trying to work predominantly, you're going to feel it, these areas here, okay? So a lot of, a lot of us, I mean, 80, 85% of people, I could easily say that have weakness and tightness, which is a correlation anyway, in the front or the, the anterior or the front side of their hips. Um, so what we're going to do here is, we're going to start to activate and work them and ideally strengthen them. Um, and then we're going to release them following that. So work through it. You may experience a cramping sensation and all that is, is just underused. So breathe through it, shake it out if you need to. Don't worry too much about it and then restart again. We're going to work for a minute with this exercise. So how it's going to look, I'll come front on so you can see. You're going to put the ball or whatever object, literally use a drink bottle for this as well, in between the knees. And then you're going to lay back so that you're on your back like this. My knees are directly above my hips. And then all I'm doing is trying to separate my feet as wide as I can. Okay? And out and back in. Give it a go. So make sure your knees are directly above your hips, but not too far back or forward. Good, and then try. Oh yeah, nice. Good. Bring the knees forward a little bit, Mego, over your hips more. Now, other way. Yeah, now go. Good, and now to add a little bit more extra bang for your buck in there, point the toes back towards you. Yeah, everyone. Good, now go. So bring them as far as you can, hold it for a couple of seconds, pat your dog at the same time. Good. Keep it working. Throw your hand up if you can feel that. Awesome. Keep it going. Good. Keep it moving.
10 seconds to go. Keep it going. And then what you're going to do is keep those knees squeezing that ball. Just have a look at your screen. If you haven't got the dog in the way. And then all you're going to be doing is keeping that ball there, bringing the feet to the ground, and then back up to that starting position. Feet to the ground, back up to that starting position. So you're going to feel the lower abdominals still work with all those internal rotators. So keep those knees squeezing whatever object together. Good. Awesome, Erin. And then focusing on keeping your lower back portion squeezing into the ground so your abdominals are engaged and activated the whole time. Just a kiss of the ankles. Nice, Mago. Bang on. Keep it working. Good. Keep pushing through it. Put your hand up if you can feel that and it feels like you're working areas that are unworked. Good. Underworked, should I say. Keep working through it. Keep going. Point those toes back towards you. Good. Nice. Keep going down and up. Down and up. Really good. Keep it going. Keep it going. Really there. 10 seconds. Then we're going to hold the knees back up above the hips for me. You've got one more set to go of these. And then all we're going to do is our feet out to the side. So we're opening them up. Let's go. Back up to the top. And then feet out as wide as you can. This one's going to burn and, and you can create a fair bit of tension. Or you'll want to stop. Let's go. Squeeze and back in. Good. Bring those feet nice and wide and squeeze. Keep it going. Breathe through it. Keep going. Through there. 10 seconds. See how wide you can get those feet. See how wide you can get them. Work for it. Not doing any more of these after this. Three, two, and rest. Awesome. Good. And now what we're going to do is be seated and we're going to come up and put our legs now in external rotation. So we just were working our internal rotation and now we're going to work our external rotation of our hips and now release. So usually I say, let's set you up with a 90-90 stance. We're going to add a little bit more to that today. We're going to come a little wider. So I want your foot to be in the middle of your pelvis. Good. So your knees on almost like an angle to the hip. And then we're just trying to sit up nice and tall. And then that back knee is pushing back just behind the hip. So I'll try and show you from a different angle. So my foot is trying to come in to be in line with my pelvis. And then my knee is slightly behind my back hip. Cool. Now, if that's hard to even sit in that position, don't worry about it, okay? You're doing what you need to do now to start to get better at it. Awesome. Okay, so we're in this position. We're trying to stay as upright as possible. Who can feel more in their back here? Awesome. Cool. Push your front leg further that way a bit more for me. Yeah, there we go. Good. And then all I'm going to get you to do is try and bring your body down to the midline of that lower limb. Good, so we're coming down, good. And then try and release the hands, push the knee into the ground and lift yourself up. Good, we're gonna do 10 more of those. So if you need to help yourself come all the way down, then take a big deep breath in, push that lower leg into the ground, and then lift all the way back up. Good, I want you to move through it now. As you do more and more repetitions, the legs will want to change positions to make it easier. So just check in with yourself. Good. <laughs> Keep it going. Nice guys, breathing with the movement. Awesome. Good. 
Good. Nice. And then once you're done, you're just going to push that back leg out right to the side. It's going to be quite intense through that midline, uh, midline section. And then all we're going to do is you're going to try and rotate around to touch as far down that leg as you can and then come back to the start. So we're rotating around, touching, coming back to the start. Trying to keep that leg nice and long and straight. Awesome. Good. This is going to feel very different, very weird. It's never a position we get in. And that's what we need to start doing is putting our body in positions that aren't normal. Like the, the normal sitting position, standing position, walking position. Try to keep that front knee ground. So as you can see, is as I rotate across, my knee wants to lift up like that. So my goal is to try and ground that in. Keep that good. Now we're working out hips. Keep it going. Keep moving through it. Nice. I reckon punishment as a kid, instead of sitting still in your room or going to your bedroom and sitting under your bed, should have been see how many abnormal positions you can get in. Work and have a rest. Well done. No, things that actually add value to your life. So first things first, what you'll find is, is you know, I've done this 90-90 movement so much that my natural position I get to and want to be in is 90-90. So I've got to check in, bring that foot further across, which creates more tension. But that's what we want to find. We want to find your current end point. And that's why looking at how I do it, besides the actual movement, but looking how I look when I do it versus Sarah versus Morgs. Obviously, we can't see Morgs, but seeing how Mego looks, we're all very different. Our bodies are all different. So don't attach emotion to how you do it versus how Erin does it. We're all different. We're all built differently. And it's just about improving ourselves. So first things first, we're in our position. Remember that back leg is slightly behind or that back knee is slightly behind that, that hip. Back up and back down. Let's go guys, make it feel good. Work. Keep it going. Good. Take your time. Who finds this side a little trickier? Yeah. Who naturally went to their good side at the start? Yeah, all of us. Yep. Yeah. Sick. Nice. Let's go one more and hold it at the bottom for me. Hold it down there. Good. Hold it for there for two breaths. In. Exhale, find a bit more space. Nice, and slowly coming up. Kick that leg out as far to the side as possible. And then reach, and then come across. Good. Nice, guys, keep it going. Keep reaching, keep twisting. Enable your body to change shape by breathing with it, allowing it, knowing and letting your muscles know that it's okay to move, it's okay to lengthen. Nice, five, four, three, get one more good one in. Rest, shake it out, good work. We're gonna to work towards our uh, scaps or our shoulder blades and our upper back and neck muscles by releasing now. So all that's required is a ball, tennis, trigger, whatever it might be. You'll be laying back over the ball, finding that point just inside your shoulder blade. 
And then all we're going to be doing is coming down to the ground, a movement. So we're rotating at the shoulder, hand to ground, back up, push through. So you'll notice, so I'll show you again, elbow down, rotate, back up, push through. We'll do 10 of those and then we'll go for 10 full extensions. Yeah, awesome. Good. All right, so once you've done 10 of those, then we just go nice and long all the way back, and all the way forward. We we'll just do it up the shoulder, it can be completely fine. Oh, that. Nice, ten And then once you've done that, just change sides yourself. Good. So first things first, elbows to ground, and then rotate out. Good, and then once you've done those ones, you go long, all the way over, all the way back up, all the way over. Find those tent spots, find those tight, sticky spots, move it around if you need to, change it up if you need to, with a couple of reps as well, doesn't hurt. Awesome. Finish that set off in those. And we're going to release probably what will be the most tense for a lot of people is the bottom of our feet. So uh, a lot of pain in knees and lower limbs, like around this area here through our soleus or our stabilizers, um, all come stems back from tightness or tension in the feet. So two ways. If you've got a good enough ball, and depending on how sensitive the feet are, you're literally just gonna try to apply pressure. And then whilst you apply pressure, try and wiggle your toe around on it. So we're trying to release this area here. Okay, it attaches to the toe. This big toe here, it's all linked, comes up all through there, okay? so. If that's not hard enough for you, because you do this regularly, like a, a, a coachable student, and you do it most days or every summer days, you might need to stand up. Just changing that position all the way from heel to toe. Should be quite intense if you're hitting the right spot. 
just going to keep it releasing, unlocking some of that tightness in the fascia and all the connections. So yeah, find that tense spot, then apply a little bit more pressure for a little bit. And stretch it out a little bit with the toes and change sides. Nice guys, keep going. Give it a nice warm up, find that pressure, and then just stretch the feet out a little bit, move the toes around. Awesome. And then all I want to do to finish is we're going to finish with a breath uh, cycle. Um, we're going to work through the four, seven, eight breathing method. So what I'm going to get you to do in your position just to get a bit more of a release through the inner thighs is lay it down, feet together, knees apart, hands on the rib cage. And the 478 method is, is pretty much how it sounds. It's four seconds of inhaling, a seven second hold, and an eight second exhale. Now, I won't overcomplicate it too much. I want you to just try your best to breathe through your nose, okay? I'm going to let you do it to your own count. Just know that in, don't stress yourself out about trying to hit the exact numbers, but we're looking for a four second inhale, a seven second hold, and an eight second exhale for four cycles. And after that, we will finish up. So big deep breath in, let's make it feel good. Was you one more full cycle. And on this cycle, I want you to focus on one thing that you're grateful for. One thing you can think about that makes you feel good, that makes you feel excited, that makes you feel happy, makes you feel energetic. One thing, it can be so simple. Fill your mind with it. Now take three just normal conscious breaths, focusing on that one thing. Don't think about anything else other than that one thing that makes you happy. Take one more final breath in, fill the lungs right up. Let everything out. Give yourself a high five. Woo well done, guys.